Pats by 35, and it looked every bit like a preseason game. <laughs> yeah, just the kind of tournament opener they needed with P.J. Washington out with a sprained yeah. foot. Charlie Walter has the recap from True Blue Jacksonville. Kentucky made sure that Cinderella wasn't staying out after about 8 p.m. tonight as they raced out to a 9-0 lead and dominated Abilene Christian 79-44, specifically in the interior. How about the out-rebounded the Wildcats 44-17? Uh, that is domination. Reed Travis was fantastic on the block, and Kentucky cruises to victory. Yeah, it was definitely good that we got off to a fast start. Uh, you see uh, 15s, upset twos all the time. So we just wanted to uh, come out uh, come out today and, you know, get that done. Yeah, I think Quick even said that at shoot around. He said we need that Stanford read today, which is, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny that he said that. I mean, that's that's the role that I, I've played before. And obviously, it, it kind of fluctuates game to game because we have so much talent on this team. But that definitely was an emphasis today is trying to get the ball inside. So Kentucky now anxiously awaits for their round of 32 matchup. Up, they will get the winner of the Wofford Terriers and the Seton Hall Pirates. Covering the Cats here in True Blue Jacksonville, Charlie Walter, LAX 18 Sports. Let's send it over to Claire Crouch. Wow, what a way to start things off for fans. A very exciting night after being a little bit nervous going into the game without PJ, but they put on a convincing performance, blowing out ACU. Fans delighted with this outcome. <laughs> Lots of fans were inside. Many decided to actually save their money by watching in a bar nearby and then hopefully catching the second round after the Cats win. Fans began trickling out of the arena with around 10 minutes left, feeling confident the Cats had this one locked up. Finally, the masses started pouring out into the street and the celebration was on. Yes! Woo! How are y'all feeling? It was beyond words. It was so amazing. And I love my cat. Yes, it was a blowout, but uh, we played a little sloppy, and uh, Coach Cal's going to take care of that. Appreciate the team coming, Abilene, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. And so now we get one day of rest, and then it is on to the next on Saturday. It's fair to say we cannot wait. From True Blue Jacksonville, I'm Claire Crouch. Back to you.